Hi everyone, Messiah here. Today is a special day as multiple things are happening. Firstly, it is my birthday today and I have turned 19 years old. You could smile, I it's look your like birthday. What? <laughs> I look like what? I got a couple of snacks, including green peas snacks, grape flavoured gummies, mini crisp donuts, some crunchy bites, which I have no idea what they are called, ube mochi wrapped in purple taro, and some rattan pepper crispy crackers. I also got an indigenous free the flag sunny hat and a t-shirt which says always was and always will be, signifying that it's always was and always will be Aboriginal land. What we are doing today is going out on a four day holiday out to the rural town of Wangaratta in northern Victoria in the Wavaru region. We have packed lots of food and clothing and we'd had a, some sort of quick birthday for myself before we got going. Anyways, it's going to be an awesome trip experiencing the countryside and rural areas after being in lockdown for so long. I hope you enjoy this video and I will talk to you later. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! <laughs> we start our journey at the start of the Hume Highway in the northern suburbs. As we leave for Melbourne, we start to see a lot of trees and flatlands. We did bring a couple of snacks and I also brought a book to read during our trip. Stop it. 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 After passing the townships of Avenal, Urua and Violet Town, the freeway runs alongside the railway to Albury and Sydney. We didn't see any trains pass by though. We have now been on the Hume Highway for two hours. Now we are exiting onto Glenruin Road, which takes us to Wangaratta. Sometimes people use buses to make houses because they can't afford bricks. After turning and driving around the township, we arrive at our first destination. This is the right place. Wait, careful, wait, careful. Our original intention of driving to Wangaratta was to visit a couple of old family friends. Our family chatted with them for a while and we were allowed to make lunch. I'm 187 centimetres tall. Oh, I don't care. I don't care. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. Oh, you're filming. I mean, I won't. Oh, come on, I like you saying funny stuff. After a while, we then drove to where we will be staying. As you drive through the main road, you pass the town centre and over the Ovens River Bridge where there is a park next to the river.
We then turned left off Parfit Road, where we are met with a gate and a couple of little houses. This is the Wangaratta Caravan Park, a 3.5 star rated motel where you can rent a little cabin to stay in. So where are you guys going to sleep? Alright, so let's do this. So what? Me and you are going to unpack the car. Oh, those green flats smooth basing on the ground. You can rent that space and park your caravan or trailer next to that space. There is also a little playground included within. Stop it. 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 After setting up our cabin, we went back to our friend's house to have dinner and to celebrate my birthday. Which one is they're all, they're all in white boxes. Why? Oh. <laughs> it's stinging my eyes. You don't, uh, you're not uh, familiar with ginger ale? Yeah, yeah, we don't have a lot of the... Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, then leave a like and subscribe if you wish. After we sung happy birthday, we had some cake and I really liked the thick texture of the cake itself. When I first heard that my parents wanted to leave for Wangaratta on the day of my birthday, I let them do that, which made my birthday much more special. I just wanted to say thank you to my family friends for getting me that enjoyable cake. It was really amazing for yeah, me and my for my family to enjoy. Anyways, we are still staying in Wangaratta for four days. We are going to be doing a lot of awesome things and I will see you next time. Bye!